Thanks for tuning in to another physics lesson with Mr. M. In this video, I'm going to go over another free fall type problem. Our problem for today is a ball is dropped off a cliff and falls for 7.6 seconds. How tall is the cliff? As always, we're going to start with our knowns and unknowns, and then from there, we'll pick the correct equation. So the ball being dropped is actually some information in itself. Whenever an object is being dropped, we know that the initial velocity is zero meters per second. The problem tells us that the ball falls for 7.6 seconds, so that's going to be our time. And in these free fall problems, we know that the acceleration is due to gravity. So gravity's acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Our unknown in the problem, they're asking how tall is the cliff, so our delta y represents the height. Because this is a constant acceleration problem, um, we have four different equations for constant acceleration. The easiest way for me to pick the right equation is by looking at my knowns and unknowns and determining what variable wasn't even listed at all. So we have vi, we have t, we have a, and we have delta y. The only thing not listed is vf, or our final velocity. And so since that's not listed at all, I'm going to find the equation that does not have vf in it. So it turns out that this delta y equation right here does not have vf in it. So now that we've picked the right equation, at this point, it's just plugging in the values and solving. So since delta y is our unknown, we're going to leave it as delta y. vi is 0. Our time is 7.6 seconds plus 1 half acceleration negative 9.8 times the time squared, 7.6 squared. And at this point, we just have to simplify. So delta y is going to equal, well, 0 times 7.6 is 0. 1 half times negative 9.8 times 7.6 squared turns out to be uh, negative 283. So our delta y comes out to be negative 283 meters. The reason why it's negative is because we're assuming that the ball is falling downwards, and downward is a negative direction. So you could also say that the cliff itself is positive 283 meters. All right, so I hope that this video has helped you solve your own free fall problem.